And it's like I have that little bit of fear of, of bringing new foods in because I'm scared of opening the floodgates. Hi everyone, um, welcome back to the channel. Um, haven't been doing a, a lot of videos just because I don't want them to, to get boring and repetitive. It's been pretty much same old, same old. Um, so, um, obviously, new things are happening. So, wanted to, to touch base again. Um, I have reached the 100 pound loss stage. Um, so, when I start, my highest weight was 303 pounds. I went on a Ozempic. My surgery weight was 225 pounds, and my current weight is 203 pounds. So that's 100 pounds that have had, that's been lost. Um, I found that once I started to go on solid foods, that I found the food that I liked and I could just keep repeating. So my my food has become very formulaic. It's the same food over and over again. And it's like I have that little bit of fear of, of bringing new foods in because I'm scared of opening the floodgates. Um, that feeling of, you know, I'll just have one bite of chocolate, it will be fine, and then the next time it will be two, and the next time it will be four. Um, and that even comes down to having a, a, a couple of, of wings. It comes down to having a bite of someone's pizza. It's, it's having, I stick to the same thing every single time. I am still not really having hunger cues. Um, if, if I do go too long, um, then, then I will notice it. If I, if, if I have my last something to eat at like five o'clock in the evening, come seven, eight o'clock in the morning, I'm stuck, my, my stomach is singing the song of my people. So, <laughs> um, but full cues, um, full, full cues are different. Um, I tend to get a runny nose and sneeze. <laughs> I don't know why that works that way, but uh, but that's the way it works. It's, uh, it, it, it's very strange. Still taking me 20 to 30 minutes to, to eat a meal. It's a case of being mindful. It's putting that fork down between mouthfuls and pushing the, t the plate away rather than just shoveling and shoveling and shoveling the food in. So that is making a difference in, in just slowing down, being aware of, of when I'm starting to get full. Um, not been doing many outside walks, but I have joined the gym at work. Um, I've only been at the gym for three days. <laughs> um, but exercise is getting a lot easier. Um, I'm trying to to learn how to run again. The last time I ran was 20 years ago um, when, when I first moved to Canada. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a challenge. Um, but you know what, even if I walk for 30 or 45 minutes, it's 30 or 45 minutes that I wouldn't be doing when I got home. So yeah, so that's a, a, a difference for me. Um, obviously, I have new hair. Um, one of the things um, that I've noticed, and when I was at the hairdresser, there was a couple of other people there that spoke of the same thing, is when you're older, when you're larger, when you're a solid two out of ten, you become invisible to the world. Larger people are completely insignificant to society, and not worthy of recognition. Um, I've always loved short hair, and I've always loved being funky with my hair. It's just something to play with, something to show personality. So 
it's a, an opportunity to, to, to live out loud and to not live to society's expectations. Um, looking forward to the to the next stage of, of life. I'm moving in three weeks. Um, we're going into a condo that's going to be better for the three of us. Uh, we're going to be there for a year. Uh, but putting those plans in place for living alone as of next October, October 2025, is exciting. Um, I, I had an ex or a previous partner, however we want to describe this person, who was always breadcrumbing me. It was like, oh, I want, I, I, I want to live with you. So if we do this or if you do this, then that can happen. I did it and it never happened. But then there was another breadcrumb to follow and another breadcrumb to follow and another breadcrumb to follow. But now that that relationship is no more, it has really laser focused me on planning for the future. It's knowing exactly what I want and looking into getting that motor home is just that, that 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 dream just grows bigger and bigger and bigger all the time um always window shopping always looking for for, for that um uh, talking of window shopping um try to do some jean shopping that is hard i I always knew what my number was. I always knew I was a 3X or a 4X. But now I need to learn new numbers and, and I just can't do it. And when I find the size, every store I go in is a different fit. Um, I find if it fits in the tummy, it doesn't fit in the thigh and it just bags and I'm just, I get very despondent very very stressful <laughs> look at doing doing a jean shopping um what else uh yeah i've been say still window shopping for the um for the motorhome i have the must-haves with the motorhomes the some of them have the the the, 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 the bed is in the pull out so the bed's in the pull out and then when you put the pull out in the bed splits and goes like this. So I want one that doesn't split. That is my, that, that is my must have. Um, I can say I have my, if, you know, if, if I could retire next year and buy that motorhome, no, 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 let's get that wrong. If I could buy the motorhome next year, live in it and still work until I retire, that would be perfect. The only way I could retire early is to find a way of making side money. If I could have side money, be able to buy the motorhome and be able to live in Calgary or close to Calgary that would allow me to work, that would be perfect. The other thing I need to look into is getting a flat tow vehicle. My vehicle, I have a Kia Forte 2020, 2016 Kia Forte and it doesn't flat tow. So what that means is basically have the motorhome and have then have the vehicle on all four wheels being pulled behind the, the motorhome. Um, I don't want to be towing something. So the other way of doing it is either having the two front wheels elevated or the whole thing on a trailer um, but th there's not many cars nowadays that you can do it manual cars uh, are, are easy to, to flat tow but it's also very hard to get manual cars in in Canada in North America very much everything is is an automatic so yeah that's something else I need to think about um, I want to go motorhome shopping um even though i know i can't afford it so maybe if you guys are interested we can go motorhome shopping um let me know what you think and uh yeah let's uh let's do it um that's that's 
about it for updates. Um, so moving in in a couple of weeks, I move October. I take lease, take the possession of the lease October fifteenth. The movers are here October twenty sixth. So we'll start to move things in slowly. We'll we'll move the plants in first. We'll move the the little stuff that we want to to, to take. Uh, and then we'll all be moved in so I can take you on a tour when I get there. Um, but until then, until there's something else to update you on, I will speak to you soon. So don't forget if you're enjoying the, the videos, like, subscribe, share, all, you, you know the drill. Um, so yeah, have a great rest of the day everyone and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.